in this past Monday's YouTube video, I got a lot of comments about how to prep for the custom compound cut keychains. You see I have a few here. Of course, I cut out the word scroll saw woodworking and Fox Chapel Publishing on two separate keychains. And people were asking what happens if there is two different length names like Myrtle Beecher, you see that big cavity there, or Artisan Pirate where there's a cavity by the E. Now this wouldn't happen if I'd have just done a straightforward name like Custom here. This is one I had at a vendor place but brought back home. And what you just do is basically add additional spaces and I have to, in the past, actually cut off the bracket and just redrew it freehand and people were saying, how do you attach it to your blank? Because when you type it up in Steve's Pattern Generator, it does skip about an inch. What I do is take a straight edge and I cut it out and attach it to the two sides of the material. Hope this clears up some questions that were asked in this past Monday's YouTube video.